now. Okay. Hello, this is Carl Mueller. Um, this is Fu Wing. And we're also working with a uh, Rebecca Gilligan. Sorry, she couldn't be here right now uh, for the Hack UC Hackathon. So we focused on a healthcare implementation um, where where initial thoughts were to help plan an, uh, the path of an, an ambulance from a hospital to the, the home of somebody in need of urgent health care. Uh, this is a, a huge issue today with, with ambulances dealing with traffic. Um, nobody ever seems to get out of the way right. And there are always unpredicted road hazards that, that can cause issues. But the goal here, the ultimate goal, is to create an, an optimizable algorithm that paths uh, the quickest path from the hospital to the homeowner. Um, this current implementation is fairly basic, but we think it shows good progress in, in map generating algorithms and in pathing. So just some initial thoughts. Um, we went through in the early stages and created a rough map. Um, this isn't quite used in the end output, but it's pretty representative of, of what we want to do. So essentially, each of these points represent nodes that have both an X and Y position as well as a, a traffic value. So traffic value was not implemented yet, um, but the X and Y position show essentially where these intersections are. And the goal, or the, I guess the, uh, the, the implemented form shows, for example, if we have a, an ambulance at this node here, it can travel up to this orange one or over to this adjacent blue one. So it can travel only to the four immediately adjacent, um, I guess, cardinal nodes. Um, and that distance is determined by these, these true X and Y values. And that's what's going to give us um, distance traveled, uh, fuel costs, and um, speed optimization later on as, as this algorithm theoretically improves to to suit a more realistic scope. So now we'll go into the, the simplified implementation for, for our first output, um, and I'll, I'll hand it over. Um, yeah, so here is the code for the presentation of um, the, the problem. So I intend to like modelize it into a model of a 2D matrix where each of the entry of the matrix represents the traffic value of that cell. Whenever the cell has the number zero, which means there is a wall at that point in the matrix and you cannot go over the wall. Whenever there is number minus two, that is the hospital where it stays. And whenever there is the number minus one, that is our home, our destination, and our goal in this algorithm is to build a path from the number two location, like the hospital location, to the house location. And we have to build it somehow that it crosses on the walls. And it, for each of the steps, it will calculate the weight uh, of that path by adding the value of the cell that it goes through. So for simplicity in this model, we add all the cells that are not walls to be equal to one so that the um, the weight is equal whenever you take any path. So um, our, my algorithm, our, our team's algorithm here built is the um, stack frontiers algorithm where I use the stack data structure in order to trace back the path once we reach destination. So um, we can run the demo on, on, on this code. Can, can you run a demo um, for our code? Sure. Just to press F5 and run everything. Yeah, so that is our code. Uh, given, given the map, um, like in the print section, we have a path that is represented in brackets. Um, and it takes eight steps um, as noted to take us from the hospital to the home. And this is a very basic algorithm there. We, we have a lot of improvement ideas in the future, like to 
build a GUI for um, the this project. We can also build a, an optimization algorithm to take into account the weight. And we also uh, can do a lot of more things in this project. Um, so there, this is uh, the initial part of the project. And we're really, really excited about its prospect in the future that we can develop it into a model in which it can trace the positions of the hospitals and it will produce the best path from the hospital to the home for the ambulance to go. Yeah, thank you. Um, and I'll just go in. You can see here um, our sort of map matrix is represented. So you can see beginning at the hospital, the pretty logical path of these ones where it would take. And just for a, a fun little exercise here at the end, let's make this sort of worst case staking path, which can be done pretty easily by just changing these values to ones and zeros based on where we want the ambulance to be allowed to travel. So right now it'll take the worst case path, which is probably around 14 or 15 steps. Yeah, 16 steps. So, so by changing that, you see a, a much longer path length here and it actually updates dynamically to, to show us no, that original path isn't possible and it, it readjusted on its own. Yeah, and then it's also a special case when there's no solution possible. Um, let's just try it out and see what it thinks. So yeah, the road is now broken here and you can see there's no solid path of ones. And it looks like, so, so we threw an exception up here um, because there's yeah. no viable path. Yeah, exactly. So take a helicopter if you can't get there on the road. Thank you.